What is up, everybody? This is O Artistry, and welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links! Thank you, Odeon. We are back with Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Now, today, it's a very special day because we have a double upload coming today, which is going to be absolutely insane. We're going to have two videos, um, but we've also got, oh, there's so many crazy things going on right now. Absolutely crazy. So, we have maximum summoning on the way. We have a new character drop today. So, that's that's awesome. So, we love that. We love character drops. Um, oh, we even have an upcoming mini box now. Oh, wow. We have so many stuff. Yes. So, we also have the upcoming updates. Which does have obtain a new legendary duelist hide in the shuttle. Now I gotta be honest with you, bro. I have no idea what the heck this was. However, I did watch and have a look at the duel links meta, um, and apparently they think it's Sherry LeBlanc, which I'm super excited about if it is because I've been feeling she, she's you know we've seen it you know in the game and everything. So I was like, please put her in, like. You know, we've, we've somewhat dueled it, but we've not been able to obtain it. It's kind of been like the unknown duelist kind of situation. But we have so many things. Um, so what's this? You Drago the Sky Dragon and Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord are going to be limited to threes already. Okay. Oh, wow. Tribute to the Doom is going to be a legend spell card. That's insane. I love that. That That is so cool. I love the artwork on that. That looks really nice. I wish we could see a, bit, a bigger picture, but I'm liking the looks of that. Advanced Codis. Oh, there's also going to be a Legend Cybertech Alligator. Nice. Okay, so if you don't want Summon Skull, but you want that 2500, we do have Cybertech Alligator. So that's real nice as well. I like that. Um, no, no, wait. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, yes. So, Genesis Maximum. So, yes, obviously we're getting a lot of Maximum summons. Um, they're coming. Um, we've got Hoppies, I believe. So, seeing this Hoppies pet dragon makes a lot of sense. So, let's have a look at some of the cards that's going to be coming out. So, we've got you, Drago, the Sky Emperor. He's an Ultra Ray. Has 4,000 attack points as a Maximum summon. Uh, there's Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord, and that's also another one with 3500. Obviously, this is the character who's coming out today, and then that's his kind of boss monster, and I believe this is main protagonist, Maximum Pet Dragon. Hobby's Pet Dragon? Oh, I'm in the way. I just realized I'm in the way. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. So, this is the artwork. That looks very nice. I like the looks of that. You drive over this guy. And then Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord. So basically, these are the limited to three on the list, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and then, yes, we have this Hobby's Pet Dragon, that looks very nice. Uh, Games attack equal to the number of face of hobbies on the field, times 100. Number of hobby lady sisters on the field, times 900, so that's really interesting. Uh, Thunder Calvary, Thunder Dragon, so this is a Thunder Monster, it looks absolutely sick. Uh, send the top card from your deck to the grave, 2500. It gains 300 attack until the end of the turn. If your opponent has no cards in their hands, this card inflicts piercing. Nice! I like the, the sounds of that. It gains a lot of attack to in that. Seven Throw Mage. Okay, so we've got a new spellcaster. Send the top card from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, one face of level 7, the high monster on the field loses 400 attack until the end of the turn. Loses additional number times 100. Oh, on your opponent's field. Oh, I see, I see. So for each spellcaster, um, basically, it loses attack points. So if you use the seven stars magician, it gains obviously a lot of attack points by sending the top card, and then this lowers it. So basically, that's going to do some serious amount of damage. I like the looks of that. Oh, this is a pretty looking card. Look at that, Rising Light Angel SL. During a turn you have not special summoned the monsters, set the top two cards for you to prove your advantage effect. During the first turn of the player going second, you can special summon the monster from either player's graveyard. Wow, so this is an, a built-in monster reborn. It's a little confusing, but it's a, it's a monster reborn. Oh, look at this! Sensor Dog Bell! I think I've seen this. I think I've seen this in gold. They're so cute! Look at it! Look how cute that is! That's adorable! 
Place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck at a level 5 or higher thunder. Oh wow, so this literally searches this guy out. That's amazing. Oh, look at this thing! This is a Cybus! This looks sick! Uh, Atroshot Rat Hydra. It's a Cybus. If you have three or more Cybus type monsters in your graveyard, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. It gains attack equal to the number of monsters in the graveyard times 100 until the end of the turn. If there are eight or more Cybus monsters in the graveyard, you also get a plus one draw. Damn, this card looks sick and it has an amazing ability. I love him. That is so cool. Who is a level 7 Thunder? Stormbolt Destroyer. So we're getting some Thunders, some Cyberses, um, some yeah, Maximum Summons. This is going to be an amazing box. Um, I love this. It looks super cool. It's on a bug. If your opponent has two or less cards in the hand, so I'm just going to look for a Thunder Normal Monster. I'm guessing that our... Is this a Thunder? No, this is Cybers. Interesting. That's a Cybers art. I'm so curious. Like, Running stuff. Now, there's also this Shadow Buyer. I think I've seen the Shadow Buyer. Shuffle more monsters in the graveyard into the deck. There's some cards in the level. Um, the number of face-up monsters are going to go until the end of the turn. So, when you really attack the theme type monsters this turn. Okay, so this is a, a like the Royal Rebel. So, oh, this is a level 7, 2300. Again, because this is a threat monster, his skill is kind of useless. But, during the turn, you normal summon this card by tree. Two level 5 high monsters. You can destroy all face up level 4 or level 1. Talismandric Seal Array. This looks sick. I like the artwork on this one. Uh, shuffle four monsters in the graveyard of the deck. Time to face monster. Controls. This is attack. Level times 100. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Nice recycle value. Stop defense. Nice. This is going to be amazing. Target a defense monster and it goes to attack mode. That's that's going to be insane for PvP. Stop defense. That, and that's a three up. So that's, that's real nice. I like that. Thunder Spark. That looks pretty cool. When your opponent wants to guys attack while you have a machine or thunder in your graveyard, the attacking monster reduces 500. Okay, okay. Oh, I like the look. I've seen this one. This looks cool. Furzu, King of the Mythical Wild Beasts. Uh, a mythical beast with two pairs of wings. It's safeguarding the royal city in silence. I like that. Light Sorcerer! Yes! Another 1500 Spellcaster! Nice! Spellcaster's devoted to silence of the heavens. He breathes in divine blessings, but what fate awaits him? I love it. Yes! Okay, and then here's the um, new Drago of the Sky Dragon. Left and Sky Emperor Right. So this is level 4 and this is level 3. Basically, they have 900 and 600. Um, Maximum Moon, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, destroy one face up, level EO, lower monster, go to field, change one defense monster, and it goes field. Okay, so basically, it all, they all gain abilities if they're in maximum Um, okay, and then we've got another left. So, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, gain attack equal to the life point difference. Nice, okay. And then this card gains attack equal to one face of one uh, monster, one controls times 200. Nice. Okay, okay. Cobalt Cobalt. I've seen him. Uh, send a fiend monster from the end to the graveyard to the card. Nice. That's an additional one to draw. Look at this dude. Blast Jaws. He looks really cool. It's a fish, but it's, it, you know, it's a thunder type monster. It's water attribute. If your opponent has one or less card in the hand, shovel thunder from the graveyard to the deck. Target one face of monster. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, Plaster Scout. I've seen him. He's also really cool. Oh, we own Plaster Scout. Yeah. He's a reprint. Um, Trailblazing Thunder Blast. If you have a face of Thunder, destroy back row. Okay, so that's another back row removal. Uh, Mirage of Steel. If you have a machine type. Okay, and then that's for machines. Nice. Okay, nice. Counter Pigeons. I've seen this guy. When your opponent wants to pass the tank. Uh, on Wingies, the attack monster loses uh, levels to the attack monster type 100. Okay. Oh, Pluggy Fish, I've seen that. Yes, and this guy, Angular Fish, I've seen him too, and he's a 1500. Cyburst, 1500, Collector Dog, nice. Okay, so we get into some serious cool monsters. Typhoon, look at that artwork, he's so cool, I love it. Oh, a Cyburst, another one, Dark Fermento, 1500. Nice. Oh, Thunder, Sturge Ball Lizard. Nice, nice, nice. And Faithbird. Wow, 
Wow, we're getting so many 1500s. Dragon Merchant, he looks cool. I like him. Send the top card from the Antiquary to the target level 6 of the Dragon, and he gains 500. Uh, Shrinker Shrimp, it's 1500 cycles and 1700 attack. Send the two face up Cyber's monsters into the Dragon attack monster and it loses attack. Uh, times 300. Oh, times the monster set. Oh, yeah, because there's ups to two legends. Okay, I'm gonna be 600. Another Cyberus. Shuffle your deck by sending the top card for your deck to the graveyard. That's a bit of an odd effect. Hair Production. It's a spell card. Send one level 5 below uh, Cyberus from your graveyard. Target a face monster on the field against attack equal times 100. Okay, okay. When a Cyberus monster on the field is destroyed, draw two cards, place two from the from your hands, block the deck in any order. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And that's another Cyber Spy. So there is no more field spells still, which is a huge shame. It's really annoying, so hopefully maybe the character has one. That'd be nice. But there, I, I know I went through pretty much the whole list of cards we're getting, but that was awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to those. Yeah, so Tribute to the uh, that's an amazing spell card, Cybertech Alligator, that's a, th those are great legend cards that we're getting. I definitely think they're gonna get some serious play. Uh, just as a reminder, we are gonna look through this basically, so at the end of the Ghost Gal event, we basically got to see everyone kind of come together again, so definitely we're getting that crossover at some point, so I'm looking forward to that, that's gonna be amazing, and I cannot wait. Um, so that's gonna be super cool. Yes, I, li I literally can't wait. It's gonna be so exciting. Um, yeah, like this. This is like so. There's gonna be three maximum summons. So we're gonna get um, Yuga's um, Yuga's one, and we're also going to get uh, our the character that we're unlocking today. I have forgotten his name, so I would feel bad. But um, it's real exciting. Uh, speaking of actually this event with Ghost Gal, uh, but we're just gonna end it that here. What, what was really hilarious was um, I'm gonna lower that down actually. Um, what was hilarious was, and I'm gonna move myself back over. Here we go. Wee! I literally got the Link Monster last night. That that um, because of points. I was so unlucky in the RNG department. I got everything else. I got that one Link. Uh, that we already had, and I got like flipping um, eight copies of it, and it was absolutely insane. No way! Kaizo has been turned into a bicycle seat? What? Wow! Of all things, why a bicycle seat? I'm in possession of all your drone's data. Oh, here he is! If you want it back, you must do me for it. Who are you? I failed to introduce myself. He looks really tall. Why is he so tall? Like, he, he does not look in proportion. My name is Nail Sionji. That's who he is. I monitor duels from around the world for Goha Enterprises. Now that we've met, you will have to say goodbye. To rush duels as you know it. He looks super weird. I'm not gonna lie, he, he, he looks too young to have a body that tall. Like, I think it's his neck as well. His neck is really long. Damn! Oh, wow! Hey, hello! Cards have been added to the trader, so we get Madolche Fresh Start and Urabi! 1500 Dinosaur Beat Stick! Yes! Oh, hold on two seconds. Look how cool this design is! The redesign. He looks so good. I love it. And we also get Fresh Sistat, so that's awesome. I love it. Um. Triple Unite Maximum Summon. Okay, so we can read an article on how to basically Maximum Summon. So this will teach us how to Maximum Summon. Um, so Maximum Summon is a code that I wrote, added to the Rush Duel program. Um, maximum Summon counts as one monster occupies the three zones. Maximum Mode. Um, it has three effects. Um, they only focus on offense instead of defense. Oh, um, basically, what's going to be really cool is, um, can I maximum summon if you have monsters on the field? Yes. Already on your field, but sent to the graveyard. Okay. If there's a maximum monster on my field, can I summon a new monster? No, because there's no open spaces. 
Can I maximum summon a monster with just one card? Yes, be careful. You can't use the effect that says requirement maximum mode. Um, can I satisfy my curiosity? Try visiting the kiosks for curiosity. <laughs> what? But yes, we are tomorrow getting the hoppies, so that's going to be really exciting as well. So, let's go to... We're going to head on over, we're going to go to the event. I love the looks of the background, so um, the dragon looks cool. So, yeah, weirdly enough, this is only until um, March 8th, so we don't have a lot of time with this event, because obviously February is very short. Um, we have one, two, three... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. We have nine days on this event, so that's not a whole lot of time. Technically, it's ten, but obviously the uh, the event ends on uh, the eighth of March, so I I kind of discount the the last day. Um, okay, so we get Dorado again, uh, which kind of is really lame because we we we've got a gajillion copies of Dorado. Uh, let's have a look at the sleeves. The sleeves look nice. Uh, Water Magician, again, something we have a load of copies of. The playmat looks nice. I like the looks of the playmat. Um, okay, new card, new card. Atron. It's a Cybus monster. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to move myself. There we go. There we go. Uh, that wasn't. That was just, um, this random background thing, and now it's being a pain in the backside. Hello. There we go. <laughs> In-house editing as we go. Right, come on. No, it's just that again. Oh, this has been such a pain in the backside. Let's carry them both over. I'll I'll fix the this while we're here. So there we go. Nice. Okay. So Atron. Nice artwork. I like the looks of him. If you have no other monsters on the field and you have Fumanton in your graveyard, you can send this card from the field to the graveyard to draw a card. Fumantron. And this is Atron. So that means there's gotta be Oh my word, it's been a pain. Why is this being such a pain in the backside? Come come here. There we go. So that means there's gotta be another monster that we get. Is it you? No. So this is Surrogate Sol. He's got 2500 attack points. This time I can move us together, so that's fine. If your opponent has a face-up level 5 high monster, reveal up to two Cybus monsters in your hand. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of monsters revealed met times 300. He looks amazing. I like the looks of his design, but he is not Fermenton or Fermentron, whatever his name is. So, how do we get that is a good question. Obviously, we're going to have conversations. Nail! Yuga Odo, you continue to pique my curiosity. He is such a weird designed looking character. He's just too tall. I don't understand it. He's way off proportion. I've been analyzing data that I tree from your drone. You mean Kaizo? Now, why are you doing this? If you just want to get rid of rush tools, it's easier ways than this. I did try to delete rush tools from the network, but every attempt failed. Failed? That just made me more curious, and my curiosity led me uh, to a former Goha employee, Otez. Otez? Ah, yeah, him. You must be Nail. And you must be a hologram. You failed to see the emergence of a new form of dueling, and with it, a new king of duels. What? Ha 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 ha. I can see why Otez has taken such a keen interest in you. I can say the same for you. There are similarities between my curiosity and your road. But my curiosity knows no about roads. You may believe your way is correct, but I believe in mine. Nail, I just had one question. Do you know anything about a key that will open a door to a new world? Key to a new world? Sounds something like Oates would say. I have no clue. I see. Now then, let's begin. Okay, so maybe that key thing could be, like, obviously them exploring other worlds. I'm so confused about this card because we still don't have it. Maybe it's an unlockable card that we get um, when we unlock this dude and it's a level up reward. I really hope so because so far I have no idea how we use this card Atron's effect with Mernton. So let's see what let's see what this guy sounds like. Is he gonna be any good? Is he not? Who knows? Nail though. No! I got Dragon Ball Z stuck in my head now. No!
Crush duels are full of mysteries to figure out, Nail. Only I can take what you created and improve upon it. Let's Here we begin. go. Okay, I like his Get voice. I like his voice. It sounds pretty good. Um, let's see. There's no point summoning you. There's no point summoning you either. So. We're just going to summon two 1500s and end our turn. I'm so excited that there's so many 1500s coming. There's so many. That's insane. Yoctron, you're different. You're not even the other one. Place of Fermentron, Antron, and Zeptron. There's even a Zeptron? Oh my goodness, what am I looking at? Oh my goodness me. Okay, we got some cards, boys. Right, okay, so pay a thousand life points, special summon a spellcaster from your hand. So we may as well do that. So we can special summon Dark Magician Guild just for free. Then we can tribute this guy. So now we have him. Okay, so let's inflate 2,000 over here, 1,900 over here. And then 1100 over there. Oh, I went the wrong way around. <laughs> over there. So there we go. I hope he can't maximum summon from the off because that would be absolutely insane. I just got a message here just to see what we got. I summon a, a lot of people randomly trying to join the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abadeg group, so hopefully it's new people who want to join the new season, that'd be pretty cool, I'd, I'd enjoy that. We had one this morning, we've got another two now, so I'll add them later, because right now we are going in with Seven's Road Magician, so obviously that monster that's coming, that new one, is going to help this guy out. There we go, so now he has 3,000 attack points. Um, let's just end this duel here, take him out, nice. He's just weirdly tall. I don't understand it. Why is Nail tall? <laughs> he just doesn't seem in proportion at all. I don't understand. Uh, seeing things like grass and stuff just makes me sad. Like, no offense, it's great that we unlock Mushroom Man and things, but like, it's like... Come on, man. Like, we we literally keep getting these cards. Like, do we have to? Um, oh, what is this? Invite a player to become a friend. A Blois structure deck. What? What? You get a Blois structure deck for inviting a friend to the invitational campaign? How long's that for? What the heck? And apparently that's just... Is that permanent? I have no idea. Who knows? I didn't even notice that. Okay, uh, people. Uh, <laughs> send me a request. Uh, but so we can become friends and uh, we get free blue eyes starter deck boxes. They... Man, what is it with them with Duel Links and Blue Eyes? Seriously, though. I, I do have a bit of a gripe with blue eyes. Not, nothing against it. It's everyone and their grandmother though plays it. If it's not, if it's not the, um, obviously we had Tachyon. They, they, my word. The ban list was awful by the way, I just want to say that. The ban list, like, was terrible for Tachyon. Um, in terms of like, they, they should have banned other cards, not the ones they actually chose. Um, Mystic Dealer is kind of useless in my hand right now, actually. So, Seven's Road Witch. We may as well summon this. I'm so worried that we're gonna wait. We're gonna get end up with a maximum summon. Um, that's gonna be terrifying if we if we can. Crystal Brain. What is this? It's a Cybers monster. Oh, this is Femtron! Okay, so it's a 1400... Oh, I think he was in the pack! Was he in the pack? I'm pretty sure I saw him in the pack. But that's Femtron. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of Shaman. Let's... Get rid of this. 
This allows me to send the top part of my deck to the graveyard, and then we can boost our Magician Girl, so there we go. Right, let's... I have no idea what kind of face downs he may or may not have. He also had the 1500 Cypress Monster, so a lot of his cards... So he's a Cypress Duelist, obviously. We saw his Maximum Summon. Yucktron, Femtron... Secretron. What the heck is this now? What are you? During the taste, this is normal special summon. Okay. Whoa! Crystal Brain! Each player sends a number of face up from the top of the deck. Damn! Uh, yeah, no, that's a, that's a, that's a widespread ruin there, King. Um, let's draw some more cards. Hey, oh, Dark Magician. How's it going? We're gonna tribute. May as well tribute you two. We'll get Dark Magician out. Uh, we'll summon you. And then what we're gonna do is activate Shield and Sword. So it swaps all the attacks and defenses around. Tribute you. Uh, so now we got this. And we're gonna push for game, essentially. Because, uh, no offense, mate, you didn't play anything that was ridiculously hard, so nice. The door to a new world has been opened, as Otis predicted. Nail, oh, it's Otis. Okay, that's how you pronounce his name. Otis. Not Oats. <laughs> Otis. Okay, so, yep, that's a load of stuff that we already had. Some more things. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff happening in Duel Links. Like, I'm not gonna complain about all the, the stuff, the content that's been happening in Duel Links. Like, I'll be honest, like, it did slow down by the time we got to the Ghost Gal event, um, which is why I hadn't really uploaded anything. Um, you know, because th there was no point redoing the event. Um, so we're gonna get through the story. So what we'll do is, yeah, we'll all do it, we'll all do it. Uh, we'll get these. I'm gonna drink some of my tea. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna duel these guys. Um, and then we'll we'll see what the next kind of storyline part plot is. Um, it's very exciting that we're getting like social. I'm just I, I'm so annoyed though with rush duels in the sense of where's the field spells? Where is my boys the field spells? Because again, this is another event where we're not getting um we we haven't had any and I feel like we need them. Like basically they need to release Yami and they need to release Mountain and I feel like that would be pretty pretty solid. Cause we got forest we could release Yumi, because now there's Thunder Monsters in the game. Uh, Wasteland for Machines and Dinosaurs. Like, so just get your basics. Just get the basic ones out there. I am very excited though about Maximum Summoning. Uh, I think it's really cool that we're getting a lot of Maximum Summons actually. There's a, there's a lot of options there. Um... So it's, it's really cool. Like, there's, there's three different types of maximum summoning options. So that that's going to be fun for people, uh, depending on which kind of variant you want to go for, like which, which maximum summon style. Um, I'm glad that not all the pieces are hard to get. Obviously, they've made the hardest pieces, the strongest ones, ultra rare, um, which is interesting. But they've basically... Yo, we running out of cards, mate. We we running out of cards. <laughs> I was gonna say, hopefully we kill them. But um, yeah, it, like I'm definitely excited about seeing where this goes. Like, is there gonna be more like maximum summons, all the type of stuff? Okay, so now we gotta duel him. Save me the trouble of finding you. Ah, oh, so you're just level 20. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. Uh, we'll just duel you again. Nice. Okay, and that's cool. So basically, there's going to be a skill for maximum something because that just that just said it. Um, it just showed it. So that's going to be really cool. Um, how we get it, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. 
Um... Trust duels are full of mysteries to figure out, Nail. My curiosity led me to a revelation that's key to this duel. Let's Here we begin. go. Get, Get ready, ready for, for the rush. rush. Okay, so My uh, turn. Uh, this could allow me to protect directly if needed. Now isn't the time for mercy. Now isn't the time for mercy. Hey, that guy's pretty cool. I like this AT-100. Zeus, the wisdom vassal. Here the I go. There's some really cool yeah, cybers-looking designs. Like, obviously, they're not even... Uh, you know what, we don't need this level 4, so we can get rid of- oh, level 2 even. And we'll pop this back row, who knows what that was. Uh, what is this? Triangle Reborn, this looks absolutely amazing. When your opponent normal summons a monster where you have three or more monsters at the same time in your graveyard, shuffle the same from your deck if you have no attack position monsters, special summon a level 7 or lower from your grave. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so this has 1200, pay 300, select a monster, it loses its attack. Um, who's got the lowest? You've got, you've got the lowest. And then, we'll summon Tora, the wind mover. Because basically, if we do get Seven's Road Magician, we can, we can do some serious damage. But nice! Oh uh, no. Oh, it's the same attack points as mine. Oh, I just lost my Seven's Road Magician! Are you serious? He was literally the next card. That is so annoying. Okay. Um, so we'll tribute that. We'll tribute it for Dark Magician Girl. Uh, we'll set these two. So what are you? Peacock Pictoron. You look really cool. Level 5. Um, if you have no other monsters on the field and you have Femtron in the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard to draw two cards. Uh, so, and then send the top two cards from the graveyard. Interesting. This'll do. My monster. I activate my. Oh, it's the quantum hole. Quantum hole. Now. So that's the the last card of the pack. It was the trap card. But that, this is pretty cool. I'm, I am digging the cybers kind of strategy. It's interesting. Sometimes they play random cards like this Pyro that shouldn't be here, but I kind of like it. Okay, well, we can now summon this and then tribute it off for another 2,000. And there's more than 500 points. Set the light spread. Hello, site preview. Oh, I added a Tron back. Never mind, that's fine. Um, yeah, so let's go over here with 2,000, 500, and then... Ah, uh, it's not game, but it's almost game. They only have 300, uh, like, points left. There's nothing they can do unless they randomly have Harpy's Feather Duster and then tribute to summon something amazing. I thought they were going to summon a load of the, those monsters that would have been insane. Oh, Dark Magician! Um, yeah, we may as well summon Dark Magician. Uh, let's finish it off with a classic. I'm glad that there's a lot of, um, these legend cards. Um, obviously the one I don't have at the moment is Horse Raider. It's 1900 attack points. Um, but it's cool that we get inside of Tech Alligator. You know, and with Summon Skull and, um, you know, Dark Magician, that's a load of different types of monsters that all have 2,500. I feel that that's quite well balanced. Obviously, Dark Magician, though, is a level 7, uh, compared to Cyber Tech Alligator and Summon Skull, who are level 5 and 6. Say bye to Rush Tools? That's what a villain would say. That means you're a villain. You can't be serious. Since he works for Goha, Goha Enterprises must be finally intending to eliminate Rush Tools. Yuga, I'm surprised to find the creator of Rush Duels in a place like this. Now that we're both here, a battle between us is unavoidable. But it is unfortunate that a battle won't be much of a fight at all, because you have no chance of winning. Not, uh, it's not 0.1%, it's just 0%. You have only yourself to blame. What? I didn't say it's the end of Rush Duels, I said it's the end of Rush Duels as you know it. Because my curiosity in your creation will lead to great heights. Get ready for the rush! Ah! Have you asked yourself why things are the way they are? How can you say that rush duels are the future when you don't know why dueling is the way it is now? That is why I and only I can take what you created and improve upon it. A single source of energy bays uh, life into all creation. See a phenomenon that will leave you in awe. Maximum summon. 
descend upon the realm, you Drago the Sky Emperor. Oh, we get to see the animation. Nice. This is going to be cool. Okay. I like it in this. Nice. He looks cool. Damn. I like that. That was, that was sick. That was amazing. Go, you Drago. Give him, uh, give Dawn to a new era by torching the old one in flames. Triple Ragnarok Inferno. Nice. Uh, oh, you got lost! Damn, son! Did he actually lose-lose? What was that? Maximum summon. When I analyzed every detail, a tiny detail in your rush tool program, I discovered something interesting. Yuga, you left a gap open in your code, a space that I could fill with my code. So I created the code for maximum summon and inserted it into the empty space. I don't know how you would make such a careless mistake, but you did. And doing so has cost you this door. And with every defeat, you gain a penalty. Penalty? To earn enough penalties... Uh, oh, earn enough penalties and your account will be deleted and you'll never duel again. What? If you want to get rid of us, why don't you just erase our accounts? That is not my way. I'm curious why you would think that is. Yuga, just as you have your road, I have my own road as well. Our battle will decide where both our roads will lead. I'm super curious if that is how the fusions got introduced with basically um, in this event you can use an EX skill that makes maximum summoning easier in duels. Start a tutorial on maximum summoning. Okay, yeah, let's let's see. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get into t the tutorial actually real quick. Nice. Okay, we're playing as nail real quick. Nice. Okay, so we'll see what maximum summoning is and how to do it. Because obviously this is all new to me. My curiosity led me to a revelation that's key to this duel. Rush duels are full of mysteries to figure out, Nail. I'm Here curious we go. to know what will happen in this duel. Get, Get ready, ready for, for the, the rush. rush! Okay. So, special summon maximum monsters onto the field through maximum summoning, which merges three monsters into a single monster. You can maximum summon when three of your maximum monsters are designated kind or in your hand. You draw the Sky Dragon Emperor and the left and the right. These are the three cards currently in hand, so try maximum summoning. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. This is cool. I like how it has its own animation for maximum summoning as well. That's really cool. So it doesn't matter what the level is, as long as you have all three cards in hand, that's amazing. The issue obviously is if you break, because if let's say you have one or two pieces, it means you're drawing less to try and get into that monster, if that makes sense. Um, but that's really cool. I like how you can just summon it straight away. Dab, look at the picture as well. Allow me to explain the three traits of maximum monsters. Trait number one, a maximum monster is a maximum summoned to a maximum mode and will have three monster effects. Try using the effects. So we activate the effect. Use which effect? Oh wow, so that's really cool. So we can pick which effects we want. So we can send cards and then we can destroy a card. Now the left side is activated. Okay, so we can we can do all three effects as well, which is amazing. But it sends now the right side. Maximum summon mode can use the effects of all three cards. Trait two. The maximum the attack of the maximum monster is is the maximum attack when the card is in the center. Check the maximum attack. So it's four thousand. The attack of the monster is usually two thousand, but in maximum mode it now has four thousand. Trait number three, due to the size of the attack, they do not have a defense and cannot be changed to defense mode. Okay, smash it with an overwhelming attack. A single battle can change the Wow, that's insane. So you can't even change the battle position. But I'm guessing though, tribute to, like I said, tribute to the doomed is going to come in super clutch here. Triple Ragnarok Inferno! I like that though. That's that's really cool. I, I I definitely think this is gonna be a really interesting idea to see going forward how this is going to to go down. So I'm I'm liking the looks of that. That that's uh, that's really cool. So uh, tutorials can be used anytime. Okay, so we looked at that tutorial. So that's really cool. But nice. Um, that that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. How that goes down now obviously we have three episodes so far so if we get to 78,000 points 
which is the cod sleeves. In theory, we should be able to unlock the character. So that's going to be really cool, actually. What I'm going to do, actually, is... I know this sounds crazy. I'm going to kind of, like stop the video and we're going to come back when we get to the next amount of points like we're going to earn as many of these whatever they are like blank pieces of paper or blank monster slots and we're going to go for it we're going to see if we can unlock the character today so i will be right back okay so after a bit of grinding we are back so we have duelist ids they are 432 i managed to do some uh, so that was really helpful. Um, oh my word, the, the opponents I had though, they were annoying as anything. Uh, so the first opponent didn't really seem to know what they were doing, per se. Because um, they just summoned things like Mammoth Graveyard, um, the zombie monster, that's the Roy Silver Zombie 900. And they just crashed into my monster, like, one time, and that was it. And it was like, and they surrendered in the end. Um, second opponent, it was triple of the machine structure deck, so that was a bit annoying. And then my third opponent, they just didn't do anything for ages. Like, it was their first turn, they just, they just didn't play anything. I was just sat there like, okay, I'm just going to pull up a YouTube video and just watch it. Um, they eventually started playing, so I think they were hoping I might have surrendered and then just didn't. Um... But yeah, it was just um, one of those things that was like really annoying. Um, yeah, what we can do is lower that. Uh, this. Uh, okay. So what we can do is 500 damage. So we're going to try and just blitz through this. Basically, we can challenge him three times. Um, and the faster we the faster we win the duels, the faster, like, obviously we get better rewards, all that type of stuff. Oh, we got a boss monster. It's 2400. I do have shield and sword, so that does help. Oh my word, he's also got another monster with 2,000 attack points. I haven't seen that one. Wheel the Windstorm Monarch. That's a monarch? Whoa, what the heck? That's insane. I mean, it doesn't have the traditional stats of a monarch. What the heck was that? What did that spell just do? Uh, shuffle four monsters, draw a card. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we got my 2500, so that's really good. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shield and sword, so that has zero attack points. Uh, I think from damage output, I... Oh, uh, no, we don't quite win, which is a huge shame. Uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. If I use this effect, we can lower this down. And now I think we win from the life point... Uh, the life point different damage because basically that monster's got zero attack points so I'm going in on that. Um, so that's 2500 and then this only has 700 so I'm hoping that's enough damage. Yes! Turn 4, OTK, 800 damage. Nice. So even after with all of that they couldn't do anything which is amazing. So, you know, take that nail. How's that feel? Right, so we got 3,600 points, which honestly wasn't a huge load, but we basically now can do it again, and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, just get similar results. Um, hopefully we can get some of his, like, super rare, ultra rare cards. Um, it's annoying again, some of the duelist rewards, um, just... They, they really need to work on those because right now they're just not very good uh, for Rush, Rush Duel. Um, because, yeah, we've got them. Like, we, like, you get loads of them for every character. Okay. Oh, the summon this boss monster, which is a monarch. I can... Oh, I can definitely deal with it. Okay, so there we go. Because what we can do is use my sorcerer. Activate the sorcerer's effect so we can lower its stats. And then we can sit in this. Sit in this. Tribute. Oh, no. 
And then we'll also tribute you. And we're going to activate the effect. Please don't hit anything good. Thank goodness for that. And then we can boost this up. Okay, right. So 500 damage over here. 100 damage over here. Oh, I'm stupid. It had 17. I don't know why. I read it that mine had 18, not 16. Oh, that was so dumb. Oh, wow. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I actually did that. And now it has 2,400 attack points. Oh, wow. I just done goofed. I really done goofed it. That was my fault. Okay, let's hopefully we draw some cards. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, so we managed to... We'll, we'll, we'll be able to clap back. So that's not a problem. I'm actually going to summon... Right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to get rid of Seven's Rogue Witch. Only so we can draw an additional card. And then we can... Boom, boom. And then summon this. So now we have 2500. What is this trying to do? Oh, wow! So this gives us an automatic skill. And there's four more that you can add. Oh, wow! So this allows us to actually... I didn't realize that. We could actually go into maximum summoning. I won't do that now. I'll do that next turn. I, I'm so curious if that has a summoning animation. I really hope it does. Because that'd be really cool. I have no idea that was actually a thing that we had this entire time. So that's amazing. Uh, um, okay, so let's let's do it. Let's maximum summon. Nice. So Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord. Does it have an animation? It does. Nice. Okay. What is this? Nice. I'm loving it. It's like Power Rangers. Nice. I dig it. Okay, and it has three effects. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. That's amazing. Uh, so we have three abilities. I can activate this one. So the top card, this gains attack equal to the level. Oh yes. So we can target any of these, and then it gains way more attack points. And I don't have any more abilities. I like how it also combined the zones, so it's just three okay, monsters. But that's the really cool. Take a I activate my track card. Quantum but that's, that's awesome. Obviously, this is a machine, and this only works with spellcasters, or does it shuffle with spellcasters? Oh, yeah, and you have a spellcaster in your graveyard. Yeah, so that's fine. Nice. Okay, so that's really cool. I did not know that was a thing. Uh, so we could just do that again, literally. So that's really cool. Let's do that. And let's just end the duel. Like, that's over 3,000 damage, so that's awesome. That's all. Like, it wasn't a quick victory, but... Nice. Okay. That's really cool that they give us this skill. I didn't even realize that's how it worked. I thought it was, like, an unlockable skill. Um... But that's wicked. Okay, so I think that will unlock another story part. Yes, it does, with a weird dude here. I never thought Kaizo would end up like this. Sniff. Maximum summon. Is there actually a way to win against it? If there is, Yuga's gonna fight it, right, bro? Uh, yeah, he really did catch me off guard, though. Don't worry, you got us. We'll help you figure out how to win, too. By doing what? By sitting on these massage chairs and relaxing our brains. <laughs> relaxing is the opposite of doing. Why are there massage chairs here anyway? Less chatting, more sitting. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> ah, so relaxing, bro. Kinda jealous. Sitting uh, for a second can't hurt. <laughs> That's hilarious. So everyone's just like, yay! <laughs> Clunk. Ah, uh, what the heck is happening? Ouch. Where are we? I do hope you enjoyed your massages because that was the final time you'll ever be able to relax for the rest of your existence. I can't believe there's a massage chair all the way down here. Shouldn't you be more surprised that the massage chair can talk? What is happening right now? Do not uh, know whether you're worthy to sit on me, you lowly commoner. Is this the chair, dude? Oh my word! What the heck is this? Some seat bastion. Serve Sebastian. I am no mere massage chair, I am Sebastian, the massage throne, a loyal servant of Master Nail. Nail, huh? 
you clearly have much to learn about the evolution of seeding technology, which began with the tree stump, then the bench, then the simple chair. But we took a giant leap with the most revolutionary inventor in, in human history, the massage chair. <gasps> what is happening right now? And even that could be improved, which is why Goha did when they invented me, the massage throne. Since I am the greatest of all the thrones, it's logical that the only greatest ruler based it upon me. A select few believe that they had the right, but the only one who is truly worthy of the armor. And that human is Master Nail. He has proven countless times that he is worthy of sitting on me. <gasps> oh, oh no! This, I'm not ready, I am not prepared. This gets this gets weird fast. I must also prove I am worthy of having nails sit upon me. <gasps> Which I will do by defeating you. Stop! Just stop. He is the most confident piece of furniture I've ever met. You will learn a valuable lesson today. That you are nothing compared to the majesty of Master Nail. I challenge you to a massage rush duel. Oh, what is happening? What is actually happening? The, the cringe is real, everybody. You will learn how foolish it is to oppose Master Nail. Okay. Oh, so we can use Nail. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we will we will we'll use Nail. We'll see what he's like. We'll see what he can do. Oh, save me, save me right now! Literally, what is happening here? Uh, does he talk? Does he have? Can he communicate with us? Does he have voice lines? Will he be a playable I'm character? I'm curious why you believe you have any chance to win. No, he doesn't. I'm curious to know what he, he has no he has no lines. Okay. It's my turn. So interesting. What we could do is summon this thing, right? And then we can tribute it off for our boss now monster. Time for mercy. We can summon this. And then we can summon this by tribute, tribute, boom, boom. So we get this Surgate Soul. What's this skill do? If there's eight or more maximum monsters in your deck, and you want to remove one random card from the top in your hand to the top of one of the deck, choose two face of monsters. Two trees, two trees, two trees. Okay, whatever. Right, now we're going to activate Monster Reincarnation so we can drop this and bring this back to hand. So if we do need to maximum summon, we have it. My turn. If your opponent has a face at level 5 or higher on the field, you reveal two Cybuses and then inflict damage be the requirement. Okay. So he's summoning, yeah, he's gonna summon the chairs. I had a feeling he was gonna be the weird chair guy for whatever reason. Okay, we got another piece, we got another piece. So we can summon this, which is 1500, and this is 1400. This will allow us to set a card. And yeah, these all have zero attack points, so my guy is gonna get, like, annihilated for no reason. Wait a minute, are they the same piece? L and L? Oh, they are as well. Oh, brother, we, we, we brick in? Okay, so he summons three of these weird chairs that have all zero attack points and defense points. Uh, oh, we got this guy! We got this guy! Nice! If we have three more Cybus monsters or whatever it is. Take to the field! After shoot Hydron! After shoot. Hydron. I do love him. He's a, he's a cool looking dude. Activate EX skill. Oh wow, so this just automatically gives us the maximum summon for the other dude. And um, what does this do? If you have three more services in the graveyard, stop the top card. This gains attack equals the number of monsters in the graveyard times 100. Oh, okay. So that's pretty awesome. Right. Are you ready? Yeah, Like, oh, what the heck face is that? Did you see him on the top? What is that? The, the, that's so weird. This guy is weird. I don't like it. Don't appreciate it. N no bueno. Um, okay, so we can duel him again. And then basically... Yeah, let's just... Let's just... You auto-duel. You figure it out. Oh my goodness, what a sad thing. Oh, what a weirdo. What an absolute... This game is weird. This game is weird. Seriously, after everything we've seen thus far, I uh, like... This blows my mind. Okay, so what did we send to the graveyard? Did I see a piece? Yes, it was... Oh, we got the head! That's pretty awesome. Okay. 
not that we need it though. He literally just died. So it's like get out of here. Um that face though, that is such a weird and it's like did you enjoy my massage? What what am I reading? What am I looking at? What am I witnessing? I don't understand. It makes no sense. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I just don't like it. Get out of here, you nail with your weirdness and your stupid chair. Get him out. <laughs> You know, because he's disproportionate. Maybe he's been massaged to the point where his head just doesn't fit his body. Who knows? He's been stretched. My turn. I draw. Crystal brain. Crystal brain. Okay. 1400 and Afro. I'm summoning his 2000, which currently I cannot beat right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Mystic Dealer. We're gonna activate Mystic Dealer's effect. We will discard Dark Sorcerer. Or draw. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what this does is we can lower its stats to 1700, and then we can tribute um this to this, and then activate its effect. Okay, so I was Tour of the Wind Weaver, but this will make it 18. So now we're higher. I'm also going to, need to Hammer Crush. We don't need the Life One game. Watch me need it later. Oh, actually, I'm glad I popped that. I'm glad I popped that, because that could be dangerous. Okay, so that deals with you, and this deals with you. Okay, so... I'm happy with that, Tim. That's pretty good. Let's see what he can do. Fermenton, and... 800. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else. So, so far, we've got Field Advantage. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is, this is good. Oh, we can activate the EDX skill. Let's do that. Okay, there's no point summoning any of these, I don't think. I'll tell you what, though, what we'll do is we'll Mystic Deal, and we will send this thing, because he's, he's useless. Okay, and then that was just another 1500. Okay, let's maximum summon. I like you can normal summon, or you can maximum summon. That's really cool. But we may as well maximum summon since we got it. I love this animation. This animation is amazing so far. I love it. So, Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord. I don't know what the other effects do, though. Um, but this card can't be destroyed by opponent's trap card effects. Yo, you know what? That is insane because Widespread Ruin is a card. If your life points are lower than your opponents, oh, which they are, we can send a card, and then this gains attack equal to the difference. Oh, so that's why we couldn't activate it before, because we were winning. So let's send this. So now it has 37. And then we can activate this effect. And then it gains more attack. So this just makes it ridiculously overpowered for like a turn. This is it, Supreme. Which is crazy. Maximum. Mm -hmm. I gotta be nice. Like I like that. That that's really cool. I can't and he's only got his uh, 1400s. Oh, there's widespread ruin. But we may as well activate the effect again, because the more damage we can inflict, the better. Um, but that's gonna be awesome. But um. Nice. Okay, so that's really cool. I like that. So this gives us 668. So we're almost there in terms of points, and we can draw them again in terms of one last time. So as long as we... Well, I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to use items. I wanted to use the... Um, I think it's the Black Gem. Uh, we're gonna go off of auto duel. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we've got Dark Magician, which we can special summon, which is really nice. Hey, my widespread ruin! That's so mean! He just got rid of my widespread! That was one of my best cards! Damn, son! Alright. Payback is coming. Dark Magician! Get to board! Dark Sorcerer, Gazelle, and then we will Tribute, Gazelle, the Tor the Wind Weaver. Okay, we're going in, boys. So, 1500. 
Uh, 600 and then 400. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We like that. Very much. So there's not really, I don't think, a whole lot he can do. But he's summoning a load of monsters to try and deal with mine. He can destroy two of my cards, which is annoying. It gives him a bit more of a board presence, but ultimately it doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, snap! Okay, so what we're gonna do is Dark Sorcerer. Sorcerer of the Light. Uh, let's lower, if we lower this dude, we can lower it. Then we can tribute these two. Summon Seven's Road. Now let's look at the life point damage. Let's calculate it. What is worth? Can we kill them? I think we can with just these guys. So if I do this over here, so it's 900, so they only have 26. That's not enough. Oh, I was so close. Damn, that's a shame. That was so close. I thought we had it. I thought we had victory. Uh, guys, I was like, ah, let's not maximum summon. We don't need to maximum. But what we can do, actually, what's going to be interesting, is we can now maximum summon. So let's do that. Uh, let's drop a card and then draw a card. So let's do that. See what we get. Nothing. So let's maximum summon. Sorry, guys. Get out of my way. We'll see this animation once again. I do like it. I think it looks real cool. I I, honestly, backslip summoning is going to be super interesting to see how that goes. Um, you know, in terms of like how it's going to affect the game moving forward. Um, yeah, so now it has 45. Ah, oh, so it's 3,000 damage. It's not quite high enough to inflict over 3,000 damage, but maybe, maybe we, we'll be lucky and we can get enough points. It's 42, 89. So I think we might have just unlocked Nail. I'm hoping we did. Did we, though? I'm supposed to be the greatest of seats! Chai! By losing against Yuga, I have proven I am not worthy of serving you. You must dispose of me. It was truly an honor to serve and protect you all of these days, Master Nail. And it would be my honor if you could continue to serve me, Sebastian. I have no desire to replace you. Sniff, what's happening? There's a leak in my code. It must be malfunctioning. <laughs> what is seriously happening right now? Yuga! Hey, Saburama! Yuga, I received a penalty to my account. Why did this happen? Well... Clunk. Huh? Another trap door? I see, so that's what happened. Sorry I dragged you into this, Saburaman. No need to act like a wet noodle, Yuga. We're on the same team. Saburaman. Ah, do you smell something? No, way. What's a ramen shop doing down here? It looks incredibly popular, too. Is this another one of Nail's traps? Only one way to know for sure, let's get in line. How am I not surprised? Where next? Wow, wee what is that noise? Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to the Out of This World Ramen. My name is Celestia Nudlina. Wee woo. Wee woo? I've come from the planet M Men Men in the Ra Nebula on the other side of the galaxy. Whoa, bro. That's like a lot of miles. I've never seen such exquisite noodles. What a wonderful aroma. Even my drool is drooling. Let's eat. It's so as I'm swimming in an ocean of Omari with no land in sight. And the noodles. I'm a puppet. And these are my strings. I've never tasted such deliciousness. This is nothing. My home planet has much tastier ramen. I'd be happy to take you there. What? Yes, thank you. That I would be honored. What is happening right now? That was good. Compliments to the chef. I'm glad you enjoyed. Now that your bellies are full, get ready for a rush duel. So you do work for Nail. Who's gonna be my opponent? Ah, oh, here we go. Maybe if we beat... Maybe if we beat uh, Celestia, we unlock... 
hopefully. Or maybe it's after a few days, if you've earned enough points, you can unlock now. We'll have to have a look and see. We'll have to have a look and see what the unlock requirements are after this door. Hopefully we've done enough. We've got two pieces. We have the left and the right. Oh, we... No, we didn't get the head. Yes, we did get the head. Yes, but we randomly tributed. We decided not to maximum summon. Instead, we went for our boss monster with 2,900 attack points. Interesting strategy there from the computer. He decided not to do it. Oh, we summoned the head and we tributed for another. Okay. Basically, we just used the head as a giant beat stick. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Okay, so we managed to beat... Okay, so what does that give us? Airflings can cook. Nothing. Oh boy. Let's retry it. Let's have a look. Let's see what the unlock recommended rewards are after the 29th. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's awkward. Whoa, look at these sleeves. Those are cool sleeves. I like that. I like the dueling icon, that's pretty cool. And there's also those. If you earn enough points, these are cool. I like those. So basically, if you meet the conditions after the 29th of February. So I think we may have reached the conditions, but that's my bad. But basically, this is a long episode. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Obviously, we'll come back on the 29th. What is that, a Thursday? A Thursday, so we'll be sure to check that out. Um, when is the pack, actually? When does that come out? Is that also the 29th? No, that's the 1st of March. Wow, so everything is coming quite delayed. Um, so I, I peaked way too early. <laughs> Whoops and aces. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, party on, peeps. Take it, guys. It was great to see you, and we'll see you again in the next one.